Hello everybody, this is Blade Cross EXE, and welcome back to Fake Grand Order Seraph Event. Did a bunch of grinding while I was off screen, and now we're back with a story. Act 4, The Sinking Beauty, 104, The Weakness Ear. Saber classes. Sabers. Riders and casters, so I'm gonna ditch Karna for this upcoming one. Oh, uh, no, no cutscene, just straight into battle. Okay. Curse! Aw, oh, you jerk. Well, that was awfully rude of them to curse us like that. And of course, I gotta pit us up against riders, which, you know, I got a caster's equip, so. Hmm. Shape shifters. Not too difficult. <laughs> there we go. So that means that the boss of this one's going to be a saber class. No, oh, Caesar. <laughs> well, I guess since Nero is nowhere to be found right now, we got to settle for this Roman emperor instead. Stab you right in the big fat belly. Yeah, let's do it this way. So that way, I can get a Garden of Avalon and then maybe... Yep, two Noble Phantasms next turn. Smack me. And here comes the stabby boy. And here comes the switch switch stab. Take that one out first, because he poses a threat to Merlin. Almost.
Oh. Ow. That was rude. Alright, well now you gotta deal with Jolter. Boom. Stabby, stabby. There we go. Well, so much for wondering if there were still any servants left on the rear side. He must have been a pretty smooth talking hero to have lasted this long. Too bad for him that this kitty knows better than to take the obvious bait. My feeling cunning is too cunning to fall for any get rich quick schemes. Sorry, Caesar. Your fate was sealed the moment you brought up the exchange rates to a cat. You did great, cat. It was really educational to see how you use your claws. Hmm? You like my paw power lip? If you think that was impressive, you should see how I cook. Huh? You can cook, cat? Uh. Cat's actually quite the iron chef. She is? You're kidding. Really? Well, if you insist, I guess I'll just have to show you. Tamamo, it's made morphin' time. That's right. I picked up every one of the domestic skills that Tamamo no Mai dropped into that river. I'm a devoted wife is... I'm a devoted wife is what I am. That's... I don't know if that's grammatically correct. I'm a devoted wife is what I am. But, you know, there it is. Basically, with the sole exception of chopping onions, anything a maid can do, I can do too. Don't worry if your hands are a little on the large side, Lip. That's a gift all on its own. Not to mention, they'll make cutting up eggs super easy. Under my tutelage, you'll be a first-rate chef in... Okay, maybe that's too much to hope for. But 2.5-rate chef is still totally a possibility. What do you say? Are you up for it? Absolutely. Please allow me to train under you, Master Cat. <laughs> then I think I'll take a carrot as a reward. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Um, How do you pronounce that? Benny... Benny Emma style. You look like you're enjoying this. I am. It's rare for them to speak up without worrying about what other people might think. At first I thought your choice to let Tamamo Cat join us instead of killing her was, ter was a terrible, terrible mistake. But now I'm almost glad you did. I can never make lips smile like that myself. Oh, I'm picking up some happy R's over here. What you talking about, Melt? E Ejmia, why don't you go give us some space? This is alter ego time only. You can say though, Master. Hang on, what did you just say? Alter ego only? You mean you're one of us? Well, of course I am. I'm one of the Tamamo Nine that split off from my sworn enemy, Tamamo no Mai. In other words, an alter ego. Maybe with a little berserker thrown in, but still. Stop that. Just shut up. I didn't need to know that. So you really hadn't noticed, huh, Melt? It's true. Cat's basically the same as us. Just who are the Tamamo Nine anyway? Of course, I was originally created with the intent of fighting the soccer to fight, but that's way too much exposition to get into right now. Like, I could fill... Like, A, it could fill up its own RPG level exposition. A crazy cursed cat RPG. But you'll have to find some other way to learn about that. <laughs> Shameless plug for, for the other Fate Extra games. I gotta say, though, even though you two are sisters, I don't you think you're both seriously unbalanced? I get the lip is all chesty and punchy and Melty is all leggy and kicky, but even taking that into consideration, your personalities are wildly different. Well, of course. I was based off BB's aggressive personality, and Lip was based off her defensive one. In other words, I embody torment and she suffering. I'm almost alive when I'm I am most alive when I'm hurting my victims. Lip is the complete opposite. She's got very sensitive skin, so the slightest bit of damage is enough to send her reeling. Her reactions are so extreme that she inadvertently provokes others into wanting to torment her, even if they're not normally like that. You should try it yourself, if you ever get the chance, Gabriel. You'll start with just a little tap. Before you know it, you'll be beating her so severely that people will be staring in horror. Th that's not true! Besides, Gabriel would never bully anyone. Yep, Master may like to tease, but he's a good egg. So, Melt, what do you mean when you said you and Lip are opposites? My sense of touch is really dull, especially in my hands. 
fingers are meant for feeling things, right? But when I can move... But while I can make my move okay, I can't even feel my own body warmth or anybody else's. That's why I have no choice but to thrash my opponents. I can't really feel my own joy very well, so it's only when I see how much pain I'm causing someone else that I really feel truly alive. I have to dominate them, to thrash them into a state that only I can see, to make them beg at my feet. That's the point where I can finally understand what it's like to love, what it feels like to love someone. So basically, you're a full-blown sadist. It's true. Both Melt and I have turned over a new leaf, but we can't change our essential nature. I'm so sorry. All right, no more pointless chit-chat. Is uh, Suzuka Gozen the only sentinel left on the side, Melty? Yes, I don't know which area she's using for her temple, but we can make a pretty good guess. The very center of Seraph, the spine. She's probably giving this, she's, she was probably given the strongest karma phage, so she'll definitely be the one in charge of the rear side. Beating her will definitely open up a new route. Then we'll head for the back next. Oh, and by the way, Gabriel, if you're going to take on another Sentinel, you should play along with BB's games. The key to her heart, was it? That should negate her karma phage's effect, so you'll need to, because we can't beat a Sentinel like her in a normal servant battle. It's gonna be another hell of a maiden coaster. They may have hurt like the Dickens, but at least those bullets were enough to get rid of mine. Any woof, it's time to best... It's always best to defeat your opponent without killing them. You should definitely do that. First we beat her in battle, then we beat her in strength of character. That's just what the fake fox deserves. Huh? Do you and Suzuka goes and know each other, Cat? You sound like you have kind of a history. Don't be ridiculous. I don't know that faux fox. Ha! <laughs> nice. When I'm done, she and her 20 years won't know what hit them. Although I guess I kind of understand what she... What it is she cares so much about. Master, make sure you break that fox's spirit, okay? I'll take it from there. Ah. Suzuka's key. Gate key. Okay. Under Armour Ray. We need the gate key. So we need the gate key to get Suzuka to get to the Suzuka key, I suppose. Shut up, BB. Alright. Dang it, I don't quite have enough. Okay. Yeah, time to stop for another grind fest. Be right back, guys.